Lisa. Meet our teacher, Nina. Hi. Welcome to our Max English class. A quick reminder before we get started. Make sure you have your Max English journal open in front of you to today's lesson. Let's set a clear aim for today's class. Lisa, how did you reach school so early today? My mother took a different way to school. Oh, which route did she take? Hmm, we crossed a big bridge over the river. We drove across the bridge and school was just round the corner. I reached ten minutes earlier than what it usually takes by the regular way. Really? We must tell the others about this shortcut over the bridge. Why don't we read a poem about a different kind of bridge today? We will read the poem The Rainbow by Christina Rossetti. We will find out what the poem is talking about. Let's write what we will do in class today in the AIM section of our journal. We will read the poem The Rainbow. It's action time. Look at the picture. What does a rainbow do? Write in a sentence. Write it in the action section of your journal. Now, some of us can share with the class. Lisa, what did you write? I think a rainbow makes a bridge between the ground and the sky. Excellent, Lisa. Now let's listen to the poem and follow along with the words on the screen. Listen carefully to find out the things that sail. The Rainbow by Christina Rossetti Boats sail on the rivers and ships sail on the seas but clouds that sail across the sky are prettier than these there are bridges on the rivers as pretty as you please but the bow that bridges heaven and overtops the trees and builds a road from earth to sky is prettier far than these. What are the things that sail? What did you hear? Let's share with the class. Lisa, what did you hear? I heard boats, ships and clouds. You are right, Lisa. Now let's read the poem aloud together. Follow along with the words on the screen. Stand up and get ready to read. One, two, three. The Rainbow by Christina Rossetti Boats sail on the rivers, and ships sail on the seas. But clouds that sail across the sky are prettier than these. There are bridges on the rivers, as pretty as you please. But the bow that bridges heaven and overtops the trees and builds a road from earth to sky is prettier far than these. Now let's read the poem silently. Underline the words that you don't know in the poem. 
Now, write down the words that you underlined in my word bank in the action section of your journal. Look at the words to learn below the poem in your journal. Find the meanings of the words you underlined. Now look at the poem in your journal and think about it. Does the poet use the word rainbow in the poem? What words does she use? Now some of us can stand up and share our answers. What do you think, Lisa? The poet does not use the word rainbow in the poem. She uses the words bow, bridges and road to talk about the rainbow. That's right, Lisa. Time for analysis. Let's talk about what we just read. The poet talks about many things in the poem. Which of the things are found in nature and which of the things are built by humans? Which are prettier? Talk to your partner. Now, some of us can share with the class. Lisa, what do you think? Clouds, sky, rivers and seas are found in nature. Bridges, boats and ships are built by humans. The things in nature are prettier than those built by humans. Well said, Lisa. But the bow that bridges heaven and overtops the trees, what is meant by heaven here? What do these lines tell you about the rainbow? Talk to your partner. Now, some of us can share with the class. Lisa, what do you think? I think heaven here means the sky. These lines tell us that the rainbow is like a bridge to the sky and it goes over the treetops. That's right, Lisa. I have another question for you. The lines say, and builds a road from earth to sky is prettier far than these. What is meant by these here? What is the poet telling us in these lines? Now, some of us can share with the class. Lisa, what do you think? These are the bridges on the rivers which the poet talked about earlier. The lines tell us that the rainbow joins the earth to the sky, just like a bridge joins the two banks of a river. But the rainbow is much prettier than a bridge. Good, Lisa. In this poem, the poet tells us that the clouds and the rainbow are prettier than the boats, ships or bridges. This tells us that the poet finds nature more beautiful than things made by humans. Let's apply what we have learned by writing. What is the poem telling us about the rainbow? Write in two to three sentences. Write the answer in the application section of your journal. Lisa, what have you written? The poem tells us that a rainbow goes over treetops right up to the sky. It is like a bridge that joins the sky with the ground. But it is much prettier than a bridge. 
Time for a quick quiz. Shade the bubble for the correct answer in your journal. But the bow that bridges heaven and builds a road from earth to sky. Which word has the same meaning as the underlined word in the sentence? A. Separates. B. Builds. C. Joins. D. Breaks. Question 2. Boats sail on the rivers and ships sail on the seas, but clouds that sail across the sky are prettier than these. What do the lines tell us about the poet? A. She likes things made by humans. B. She likes natural things more. C. She likes things that sail on seas. D. She likes things that sail on rivers. In today's class, we read a poem about a rainbow. Remember to read the words to learn and to use my word bank to write any new words you learned. See you next time.